Good morning, kindergarten and pre-K. Today we are going to do another step-by-step -step drawing. Today we are going to do a turtle. He's a little silly looking, but I think he's rather cute. So we're going to learn how to create our funky little turtle today. The uh, materials you're going to need are, of course, your piece of paper. It can be any light colored piece of paper, white, yellow, beige. Um, something that's easy to see when you draw on. You can even do light green or light blue. Um, you are also going to need your pencils so that we can draw the outline of our turtle first, okay? So you need to make sure you have something to write with, something to erase with. So, step one, I'm going to hold my paper portrait instead of landscape so that my turtle can be nice and big on the middle of the paper. The first step you want to do is you're going to draw your turtle head. So you're just going to draw a small circle, not quite in the middle of the paper, but a little lower than the middle of the paper. It doesn't have to be all the way down here, just somewhere between the middle and the bottom of the paper should do just fine. The second step is you're going to draw a line on either side of your turtle head. Okay, so I drew my one line here and one line there. Not through the middle of the turtle, but one on each side. Because the next step is we're going to create the dome shape for the turtle skull. So you're going to do a big sunset shape from one side of your turtle all the way to the other side of your turtle. Okay, so I went from one line, I drew my nice big sunset all the way over to the other line. My next step is I'm going to draw the legs for the turtle. Now when you draw the legs, you want to start right there at the corner of the turtle shell. And you're going to draw a sock shape or just like a little oval shape. Okay, and I will show you what I mean. So I drew my little sock shape down here in the corner. I went from the corner and I drew an oval up to almost where his face is. So now on the other side, I'm going to do the exact same thing, only opposite. Symmetry, just like we are symmetrical. One hand is the same as the other hand. So we are going to draw our second sock shape for the second turtle leg on the other side. Now he's got two feet, one feet, two feet. Now for the next step, you're going to draw an oval shape for his back feet. Now this is going to be a little silly because of where they're located because they're kind of located hanging off the back of the turtle shell here. So I don't want them too close to the front because they are his back feet. So we're going to move them up a little bit and connecting to the turtle shell on the sides. The next step, we're going to create two lines for the bottom of the turtle shell. Now all that means is you're going to create another line right on the top of the already existing line that we drew out the sides of the turtle head. Okay, and your last step before you start coloring is we're going to do our um, almost polka dots, our circle shapes on our turtle's shell. And again, this week we're working on symmetry, so we're going to try to make everything on our turtle shell symmetrical as possible. I have one in the middle, since it doesn't need two, do one in the middle, one on each side, and I'm going to continue to do that with all the uh, polka dots on the turtle shell. You can do half circles, you can do full circles, we can do ovals, you can do squares, you can do whatever shape you would like to do. Again, all you want to make sure you're working on is symmetry. 
So my one on this side has also one on this side. I have a half circle on this side and a half circle on this side. Circle here, circle there. This one's the head, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw his little turtle. Happy face. So he needs two eyes. One eyes, two eyes. And we need to make sure that he has some black. See, I have black in my center of my white on my eye. So you're going to do the same thing for your turtle. You want to make sure he's got, see if you can see it, white and then black in the middle, which is his pupil. Okay, so you want to draw that and a nice happy face. See if you can see it. Happy turtle. So now that you're all done, you may go ahead in and you can color your turtle. I drew some nice little spring flowers on the ground that he's walking on. Um, and you can do whatever you would like with your turtle. He's your choice, your turtle, whatever color you would like. You can color the polka dots, you can color this turtle happy face. Um, your creativity, your time to shine. Again, you may do a background. I did a blue sky with a brown, dirty ground since turtles love to walk next to the, the swamps and the ponds who always tend to have some dirt around them. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun drawing with me today and we will do another do-it-yourself step-by-step art project in the near future. I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.